transparency has allowed me to survive it all because, uh, you know, look, from the standpoint of this business, you know, we have PR people, we have lawyers, you know, they, they don't want you to be so transparent. You know, look, you've got a brand that we're trying to create and this brand is this way. <laughs> well, that's great, but I just got to be this way. The journey was completely different. And what has kept me relevant and on stage all of these years is that I have been transparent with people. Yeah. I've allowed them to see uh, my flaws. I've been upfront about my faults. It's kind of hard anyway because my flaws have a microphone and a spotlight <laughs> and a camera attached to them. You know. Everybody, millions know immediately your flaws. Right. <laughs> I don't get to work it out in the no, comfort of my home. No back room there. No, man. We, we, we're in the front. So you, yeah. you got a light on you. It's, it's glaring too. And uh, so I've, I've been real upfront about that. Uh, see, and, and the reason I've chosen to be transparent is because it's easier for, the, for me to tell you how to win if you know I lost. It's easier for me to tell you how to get up if you know I've been down. That's good. It's easier for you to believe that I know how to get over if you know I've been under something. But see, if, you, if I don't expose this to you, I'm just this well-off guy talking to you. Yeah. You know, it's like, and it's so, it's so, it's so hard for people to relate to that. And then, you know, I, I've, I've, I've reinvented myself. I've morphed in the person that you see today, which gives people inspiration and hope that it can happen for them. Yeah. Yeah. We keep talking about this, but there's certain ways people got to look at, it, you know, like, you know, and, and, and you got to be willing to accept the morph, the change. Because change is inevitable. Yeah. Uh, two things are going to happen in change. You can react to the change yeah. or you can participate in the change. You get to pick. I choose to participate in the change. I know that I won't be on TV forever. So I'm preparing for that day. Sure. You know, I know that eventually, like television is changing now. What we're doing right now is not for TV. That's it's exactly for digital. Right. That's right. Because that's the world it's going into. Now, if we want to save this program for TV, yeah, somebody will watch it, but maybe 1.2 million people might. In cyberspace, there's no telling how many people get this. That's it. exactly right. You know, and so be, being there, it's almost like people, you ever, you ever see people who never want to change? You ever go to high school reunion and the girl got the same hairstyle she had when she was in high school. You know, <laughs> Oops. You know, your head is actually bigger than it was in high school. You can't possibly wear the same hairstyle. We can't do it. You know, I mean, I, I look at people who never, ever are, are willing to morph and go with the change, but I've, I've reinvented myself, and I've, I've, I've just accepted that part of it, man, the transparency part, so they can see I'm not what I used to be. Yeah. So, but here's what I am. And if you like what you see, this is how I got here. But I want to tell you the story of how I got here. And maybe somewhere in this story, you get to see yourself and it becomes relatable.